I stopped off at a charity shop on the way up to Norwich. They had no games in this charity shop, but they did have a lot of DVDs. Gremlins caught my eye. Of course, I've got a gizmo shrine up in the games room. So even though it only trades in for 80p, I got it for 50. Cost free 50 to buy. So I thought I'd keep that for myself for the personal collection. Not much took my eye. There was a Scooby-Doo double pack here, but it doesn't chop in much for CEX at all. So there wasn't really any gains to be had here. But I did see a Final Fantasy DVD. that looked very nice. Nice cover art. It looked pretty cool. Doesn't chop in for a lot, but I thought it's gaming related. And it's for charity, so I thought I'll pay 50p for that and put it on a swap shop tonight and see if anyone wants it. Next up, I stumbled across a little gaming shop. I had no idea this was here. Um, it's a huge store. It's got like a gaming area upstairs for like trading card games and, you know, playing Warhammer, that sort of stuff. It's multiple story. Down the bottom, they had all of the games you could bloody imagine they had so many board games and me and my family we do play a lot of board games so i had a good old look around but there was too many to zoom in and focus on so i just sort of swooped around the shop there was a whole area dedicated just to warhammer 40,000, all that sort of stuff painting model building it was really well compact and laid out there was a lot of people in there from different sorts of hobbies I stuck mainly at the ball games. There's a few that took my eye. This Flashpoint Fire Brigade sort of ball game looks really cool. I always get interested in ball games, but I haven't got the patience to learn the rules. So unless it's a simple one or one I can learn around the friends, I don't tend to get much involved. But me and the wife do love code names. So when I saw this code names duet game, I thought maybe that's another great party game to add to the list. Um, yeah, just swooping around the shop. They had some awesome stuff, some Power Rangers there. Really cool things. Um, I've played that Cash and Guns game as well. I don't know if anyone's played that. That's an expansion pack, but I definitely, definitely recommend that. Those are the real fun party games, which don't take too long to learn. This is me picking it up here. And it's, you know, they're quick 10, 15 minute games with a few friends after a nice dinner and a few drinks and cocktails. Those games go down really well. Once I came out of that shop, I did find a comic book store. I poked my head in, but I didn't want to do any filming because uh, it's quite compact. So I headed to a cash converters. They had all the usuals in there. They had lots of gaming consults, new and old. They had loaded of pop figures. They had some figurines. You know, it was the real sort of classic stuff, not the real rare stuff. But they did have some Sega Mega Drive games there, Road Rash 2, Sonic Spinball, even Micro Machines, some of my personal favourites. Golden Axe as well, Bubsy the Bobcat. Look at that, <whistles> saucy, saucy little statue of Dead Island. Then I headed on to Cash Maker, another little cash store. I did actually pick up a game or two from this shop, so stay tuned for the end of the video where I'll go through all of my pickups and you can see that. This shop had lots of Xbox 360 games, a few Xbox original games. There was some PS2 titles there as well, a stack of Wii games. I'll check out this, Space Marines for the 360. What a game that was. That was awesome. Yeah, some PSP games around the other side as well, but nothing really worthy of filming. But I did see a large selection of um, Nintendo DS games, which was there. So let me know if there's anything you did spot in there. Last level games was the next store I popped to. Now, this store was absolutely packed. It's a small store, but it was so, so busy and it was ceiling to floor of retro games. It was a real, real haven of just all things retro in there there was so much we had ps1 games every console you can think of was in here boxed and loose cart look at the original xbox down the bottom i couldn't film for too long because the shop was so busy you needed to keep moving around lovely crt there look at the sega mega drive section there was a couple of games in there which i wanted to check out risky woods that's a good game but i do own that had some dreamcast some of the you know, newer games, some Sega Saturn in there. There was, they got that flea up there as well. But like I say, I couldn't hang about too long. You can probably see in the reflection, there's a lot of people. It's like a little conveyor belt going around. That Looney Tunes game caught my eye. Um, so don't see that often. Um, Be with some butter, that's awesome on a Mega Drive. I've got that myself already. Otherwise, I probably would have picked that up. It was a nice selection of Mars System games. It was nice to see them laid out where you can actually see the spine and see what they are rather than being just all chucked in it's like some of the cabinets they do have for the mask system they don't seem to get the respect they deserve um yeah this resident evil 4 awesome awesome franchise but yeah there's some cool games in here let me know if there's anything you guys spotted that you don't tend to see which might be a bit rare 
Last level games in Norwich is definitely one you've got to check out. I've got some links there as well. Absolutely awesome. The handheld, the link, Atari links, absolutely awesome. And some game and watch bits in there as well. Jungle Hero. Yeah, I mean, I, nice. I could have hung around there for ages, but there's people waiting to get in as well. But yeah, and it was also there was a cabinet right by the counter, which I really want to check out because I had some Switch games there. And I really want to have a look, but obviously when people were queuing up to trade and buy, you couldn't really... You can only get a second to look in there. So unfortunately, there was a cabinet full of some real cool stuff which you could barely look at. Now, this is actually all in a charity shop. So I'm out of last level games. I'm in a charity shop. There wasn't much games, but I had some DVDs. But everything was well priced, to be honest with you. I mean, I've not seen any of this stuff. But yeah, some like anime DVDs um, up the top there. There wasn't really anything, you know, eye-popping for me. Let me know if there's anything that does catch your attention in there as we scan through these DVDs. There are, of course, some fantastic films in there, but I mean, oh, I love my horror films. Halloween Uncut, but again, that's four ninety nine. It's not like they're all listed as a pound or 50p. But Gremlins, I picked that one up earlier for 50p. I wonder how much they've got it in here. Did I get a bargain? Bosh, 99p, I got it for half that. I remember watching Mirrors with my wife years ago, and honestly, I... I think I'd say a few mirrors off the wall. It scared me that much. That was a really good horror film. There's some comics down here. It was nice to see. I saw a lot of comics today in The Hunt. You'll see some more later on. Not really my thing. I don't really know enough about it. This next shop, Sir Plus Trading. I had to zoom in on this because it had vintage toys galore. This had everything. It had gaming related stuff in there. It had some real retro. And I'm talking not even retro. It was vintage. There was some absolute relics in here. It really, really was a hidden gem. Anyone who lives in or around Norwich will probably be familiar with this store. They've got a lot of cool toys, action figures and collectibles. Real old, cool, you know, like the tin sort of stuff you see on Pawn Stars or on American Pickers. Some real antique collectibles. And look at these Star Wars figurines. Absolutely awesome. But again, not really things I do collect, but I did actually pick up some... Um, some toy action figures, which I'll see later on in the video. I did check out that Game Boy. It was priced well. It was priced for £40. You can Hello. trade it in for 50 However, it had a few scratches on it. Um, the reason why I pulled up the price tag of Royal Rumble, I did consider getting that as well, because um, that was a game which I loved on the Dreamcast. That was a first Royal Rumble WWF game where you could have more than four people in the ring at the same time, I believe. So that was pretty cool. I picked up one or two games from here which you will see later on. That Rocket League was sealed. Twisted Metal, head on that was. I thought that was a PSP release only. However, that was a PS2 game. So guys, let me know. Is that like an American release? I'm not sure. This shop, I know the sign's in the way. I'm pretty sure it says Lucy's. Again, I didn't realise how much vintage culture and crafty the people of Norwich are because this store was awesome it's like walking the time capsule there was some real interesting things it was like a museum there was just so much old like restored junk and toys and real real vintage old old stuff the fox didn't look too well bless him as it's royal rumble week i don't know how this little wrestler got in it doesn't look genuine is that it is a wf belt i think it looks like seamus um, but yeah, I'm not sure that label doesn't look, I remember these, I had a Sting wrestler with this style, but I don't think that's an authentic one, quite well loved, so I popped him back on the shelf there. I saw a lot of Beano and Dandy comics and, and books throughout all the different charity shops, it really is a lot of Norwich, if you're really into your vintage stuff, you know, your toys and your collectibles, or just interested in it, you've got to go and check out the centre. They had a lot of big hit of VHS. All of these films are awesome. They're all big ones. Again, I don't really collect VHS, but American History X, wow. What a film, iconic film that was. And there were some big, big films in there. And this blew my mind. I mean, you normally see the odd CRT, but I mean, look at these old electronics, these real old record players and, you know, VCRs, VHS, radios and TVs. There was some stuff here which... I'll probably never see again. Um, if you're a bit older than me, then maybe you'll have a bit of a fonder memory than I would. This just really caught my eye. This is like the holy grail of TV monitors. This is absolutely awesome. I did a little zoom in at the back just to see, um, you know, what sort of power supply and what compatibility this would have. But it looked real cool. I'm not sure whether 
I could get that working of any of my retro systems. But yeah, let me know if you've seen that Discovery monitor before. Aladdin's Cave was a next door and this was absolutely awesome. There was toys, toys and more toys and there was some games in there and I had some retro games in there as well. So that was cool, I had some cartridges and some CD disc based stuff, some comics. And you know there's some rare stuff when it got behind glass cabinets. Yeah, we had some Sega Mega Drive games in there, which was fantastic to see. Nothing that exciting, let's be honest. We've seen, we've seen these before. But yeah, I mean, I had some loose NES. They were selling 50p, like not even official Nintendo sleeves, which I thought was strange, to be honest. But yeah, it looks like the cabinet's been hit up. There's some spacing in there. But there seems to be a lot of people floating around in the hunts. These were really well priced. Look, hook sealed in there. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see the price tag. Wow, it's 50 quid. But look at this one, 20 quid. Captain Scarlet, a little toy. If you're into those little electronic collectibles, I mean, that's pretty decent value, I would have thought. Lots and lots of cool stuff. I really wasn't expecting. My trip to Norwich was going to be going to an arcade. Retro Replay, which I'll see on the next video. That'll be uploading this coming Sunday. And I planned just to video, you know, visit two stores, and it turned into about eight to 10 stores. There was so much. And there's Xbox 360 games in here. Again, nothing massive. Great games, of course. Gears of War, you know, Tomb Raider. Look at this Thunderbird stuff. I mean, we all had some of this, didn't we? I, we all had that little number one rocket. I remember that fondly. Lots of comics again. There was so many. There was no point in me filming, going through the buckets. Like I say, if you are from or around Norwich, make sure to check it out if you are into comic books. Nice to see The Punisher there as well. Fantastic game that is, and a fantastic arcade game as well. Really awesome. Scooby-Doo, shout out to Dory with a little shout out there. Now this was another store I wanted to see. Regeneration Gaming. Unfortunately, 80% of the store shut down because they had a little bit of a leak, but the owner was a really, really nice guy. I brought a fair few bits from here, so stay tuned to the end of the video where I'll show you that. But they had loads of stuff in here. Unfortunately, I couldn't see anything out back because it was closed off, but this store had a lot in. That Indiana Jones, I went to check out um, because I have, don't really see that often, to be honest with you. And the Judge Dread, I went to buy that. It didn't have the manual, but it was priced. It was in good condition, the box. It was priced like five pound cheaper than CEX. So I really did consider it, but it didn't have the manual. And I do see it every now and again. So I thought, do you know what? I'll just let that slide. But yeah, the guy running this shop is a really nice gentleman. Um, he said he'll let us know when you know, when he's up and running to full capacity. This is a real big store. There's a lot of stuff in this store. So, yeah, really, really good. Looks like a lot of the Master System stuff um, may have gone. Me and the wife love the let... Well, I say me and the wife. It's just me. I love the Let's Sing game. She just watches me drunk singing on the old karaoke after the pub. Don't collect Amiibos, but... Spoiler alert, I did buy one while I was there. I do love McCurby, so of course you know which one it is. Um, again, that was well-priced. Um, yeah, some great carts, some great Game Boy games. I mean, I don't know if you see at the back. I zoom in just here. See that? Little Turtles. Fantastic game for the Game Boy. There was some real cool stuff in there. And there was a lot of snares and, you know, Dreamcast bits I couldn't get to at the back of the shop. It was a really big store. It was an awesome retro gaming shop. I tried to film the side of these games because there was a lot of these. Let's see how those games are sealed. A lot of those Xbox games were sealed, but... There was nothing that special. And look, you can see all the spines and all sealed up. I had to pick that up for myself because I'm a bit of a pervert. The next shop, of course, was this one. Sutton Toys, which really caught my eye. I think this was the last shop of the day. They had a few Switch games in there. But predominantly, it's a, you know, a retro toy and figurine collectible store. They had some real cool stuff. The owner was really, really nice. Don't know if you saw, but there was some really unique original Power Ranger stuff. Not just this little Zack one here, but you know the interchanging heads at the front? I did pick up a few bits from this store, and to be honest with you, I'm not really a toy collector at all, so you know I've got some good stuff, so stay tuned for the pickups at the end where you'll see that. This guy running this store is a really, really lovely gentleman, um, and it's right by that Regeneration Games, literally like across the road in the little centre, so check it out. That Mega Drive game, you don't see that often, do you? I had a real scan around here, there was lots and lots of cool stuff. There was some awesome action figures. I don't know if you saw below a couple shelves down there. They had some of the old Bucky O'Hare figurines so there. Um, and Sorry, look at that. So the old Millennium Falcon from the old Star Wars. Let's hit head now back to the room for the pickups. 
So the pickups picked up a couple of things. The first one was this picture, lovely little Pikachu picture. I've got absolutely no idea where we're gonna find room to hang it up in here because we've got some more stuff coming so I have to have a reshuffle. But we'll find some place for that soon at some point. Got a couple of Switch games. One is Man Eater and the other one is Rocket League. Man Eater is a game which I have had my eye on. It just looks fun. It's like an RPG game, but you play as a shark. When I say RPG, it's not going to be grinding and trying to level up. It's not going to be like that sort of game. But yeah, I've, I've got no idea. It just looked like a lot of fun. Like I said, I got it for a good price. It just looks like a lot of fun. So yeah, can't wait to add that one to the collection. And then Rocket League. Um, it's just one of those games, like there's three games which are all mainly digital, like Among Us, if you can get a collector's edition of that, Rocket League, this is a collector's edition, or Fortnite. Those are games which people have spent thousands of hours on, and in the future, they're going to see a physical version of this and probably want to own it. So that's the reason why I got it, because it's still sealed, it's a collector's version. So those two Switch games, we're going to add them up to the Switch collection, find some space and room over there for those. Um, then I've got these little bad boys. Check out. Hopefully they don't melt on the old radiator. We've got the old Billy Blue Ranger. Um, I say it's original. It is, it is some sort of orig originality to it. It's, um, let's have a look at the old age, if we can see on the foot. Can't really see a date on there, but I do remember seeing them, and you can find them online. But yeah, it's not like it's from the actual original Power Rangers. But yeah, let me know if you guys know anything about this one. It's obvious that it is based on Billy, but we know how old that is, I don't know. Now this, little Zack, which was there, obviously he's well loved, he's got some yellow into him, but this is awesome. I remember having these as a kid. Um, like I said, I don't normally collect figures, I've only got like a few, but I don't go looking for them, but this just, I mean, it's so cool. Still got the old kick in action, look, boom, 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 on the old back of the leg, the button still works. But yeah, that's so cool, I remember those, those were literally like the proper, these were the proper original, original, like when it first come out, the first couple of seasons on VHS, these were the first figures that come out. I remember that. He obviously had some sort of gun or whatever he had, but that's gone. So big up Zach, the Black Ranger for that one. And then we've got the old pervert stand, old Chung Lee holding the controller there. Oh, put that back, why'd you see her breasts? Yeah, she's just chilling on there, found a little spot for her. And then do you remember these little figurines? These little three Power Rangers had those. I remember these as well. These are definitely from the original. So bless, we've got Trini, um, Yellow Ranger, and we've got old um, Tommy, White Ranger, slash Green Ranger, God rest his soul, to both of those. And old Kimberly, Pink Ranger. So these are the, if I can do it right, these are the interchangeable heads. So you pop that back down like that. If I can do that right, one-handed, and then they, it switches around. So you can actually get the actual face behind each of the masks. So I thought that was really cool. So yeah, I've got all three of those. They all work, it's absolutely awesome. They were five pound each, and like I said, I don't really collect them. And I was like, oh, I don't pay 15 quid for all three. Um, so I was looking at them, and obviously you can't really, <laughs> you don't want to separate them. There'd be one just left on his own. And he, I said, he said, you know, he'd do three for a tenner. So I thought that was a cracking deal for some original Power Ranger toys. Again, they're all well loved, but they all work. And then we've got this lovely little Amiibo, little Kirby. So we found a good little place for him up here around Nintendo Switch stuff. So that's all of the pickups. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. New episodes every Wednesday and Sunday. Coming with some new videos for you guys. This Sunday is going to be the Retro Replay Arcade Tour. So see you then. Make sure to like, comment, share and subscribe. Cheers. Welcome to Marathon Gaming. Boom!